crossbar then and my bad. You know what's crazy? I've asked like a couple people like on a scale from one to ten, like how bad does a wasping hurt? And people it's just a whole variety. Like some people are like, yeah, it was like a four or three. Some people are like, man, that shit was like a seven, eight for me. I was like, okay, so does it hurt or does it not hurt? Okay. But honestly, I feel like if one got to me, I'd probably definitely cry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a new game because it has been quite a while. Blue bar who are halfway on death. Nah, honestly, let's just chill. I kinda just wanna relax. We're gonna do easy. Turning a new game will overwrite the current autosave progress. Yes. I kind of know what's going on a little bit, but not that much. Animals are not brethren. They are the underlings. They are the other nations caught with ourselves in the net of life and time. Twenty years have passed since a cataclysmic disaster known as the Shadow transformed the Earth. Don McGlass, what's up, Rex? This planet once a paradise for human beings and animals alike, has become a nightmare. A swirling vortex of storms, fires, and eruptions that threatens to devour what little life remains. How are you doing? And Welcome yet, in. Life does remain. Animals, certain indefatigable species, have proven themselves able to adapt in ways humans could not. I should be able to eat this. I guess not yet. I've done that every time I just stream. That's good. <laughs> One such species is the sugar glider. A small marsupial, unusually adept at navigating this new and treacherous environment. I really need to buy a new controller since my other one has that stick drift problem. Because if this one gets effed up, we're pretty much screwed. Well, I guess, well, I can probably use Dustin's controller, so I know he wouldn't mind. But I like having my own shit, <laughs> you know? Though sugar gliders, like all life on Earth, now balance on the brink of extinction. Their still beating hearts offer us glimmers of hope, proof that no matter the challenge, life can always find a way. The sensitivity on this is kind of crazy. Can I change that? I kind of don't like that. Oops. Can I adjust? Oh. Maybe 30? 27? Is that going to be too slow? Where'd you go? Oh, like okay. human beings, We're still up there. sugar gliders form powerful familial bonds. Oh, this may be our dad. Adults I'm not sure. and their offspring protect and nurture each other and cooperate in ways that enhance their chances of survival. But no amount of cooperation can avert some disasters. Slate, go lay down. Go. Slate, please don't let me kick you up.
We got Platt on Hell Divers. That's there amazing. Is <laughs> there is hope. This That's young amazing. family of sugar gliders is living on hope. With their nest destroyed and their father cruelly taken, they'll need every ounce of oh, it so to brave the dangers father. of the wild in search of a new home. Young gliders, or joeys, sometimes remain with their mothers until they are ten months old. At only six months, our young glider will need more time at his mother's side to learn the ropes. Every step forward for this, this joey is, is a step into the unknown. His mother and baby sister are the only constants in his life. And his mother has the knowledge and wisdom that come with age. He'll have to follow her closely. He's still young and has much to learn. Sugar gliders are tree-born animals. Out of their element on the forest floor, this plucky youngster must stay alert and find ways to strengthen himself for the arduous journey ahead. Mushrooms and other succulent plant life not only offer nourishment to the sugar glider, but a path to follow. For where plants thrive, other forms of life can thrive as well. Dang, they didn't even like fill us up. Yeah, we get the hops. I forgot about that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jumping. Dang. A precursor to gliding keeps the glider nimble and strong. Skills he'll need if he's to survive this oh, quickly no. changing environment. has a new execution. Ooh. Nice. I know a lot of people hate on her, but I like when she gets low. A spider. Though small, oh. it has all the markings of the notorious Black Widow. Bitch slapped you. Okay, so these like creatures are really tiny then. Like smaller than a squirrel. The glider must master every skill in his arsenal to thrive. And one of his most notable attributes Whoa. is gliding. Whoa! He cannot survive without acquiring running? this primary skill. But to glide, he'll need strength. And strength comes from food. So I'm trying to get my health and stuff up as much as possible. The forest floor, despite its dangers, also provides. Plump cloudberries fruit are chock full of nutrients and tasty too. Where can I see that at though? It's that yellow bar, but... Okay, yeah, wow. This game this is very beautiful. This is Saviour Island, one of only a handful of ecosystems that remain. Its dense forest would once have offered cover and comfort to this young sugar glider, but no longer. The island is now a deadly war zone of competing species. Away, the survival series. The sugar glider feels most at home in the trees, and for good reason. The glider's whole body is adapted for the high life of the forest canopy. Opposable thumbs on his hind feet allow him to clasp branches and perform wonderful feats of acrobatics. <laughs> With his gliding membrane, he can defy gravity itself and float on the air like a piece of paper. At least, in theory. 
Okay. Oh, oh, I gotta hold it. I, I just have to press it. Whoa! Gliding isn't an easy skill to master. This youngster will need more practice to get it right. Dang. Eat this mushroom. Yo, noise! What's up, bro? Welcome in. <laughs> okay, where am I mom go? Mother! How you doing, noise? Also, Gingy, is the new execution, like, pretty cool? Or is it like, eh? Oh, it's a snail? A delicious meal. There's nothing like a successful hunt to put the spring back in your step. The sugar glider forges ahead with a new vigor. Damn, I feel like they, tough. they can't even fight back, really. <laughs> have you guys ever tried snail before? And like, would you? Because I never have, but I would try it. I would try it. I don't know if I would try it raw, though. Because I don't even really eat oysters raw. They're always like, like boiled or something. I mean, I would try oysters. Actually, have I eaten oysters raw? Maybe I have. Wait, are canned oysters raw? Because I've eaten canned oysters like a good amount of times, but I don't know if they like do they do something to them first, like besides like preserving them and stuff. So maybe. S cargo. Yes, I like it. Mmm. It's kinda it's, wait, isn't it expensive? <laughs> the glider has Dang, ventured close the to the cliff's edge. The winds here are harsh. One wrong move could send him tumbling into the waters below, and because gliders can't swim, this would be a deadly mistake. We watched the National Geographic. Honestly, yeah. This dude's voice is, like, really, really nice. Um, I wonder how you get into that field of, like, like expertise, like that career. <laughs> so I feel like once you're in, like, you're pretty solid with getting other opportunities and stuff for that, you know what I mean? I'm good on that pass. <laughs> I'm a picky eater though. I'll pretty much try almost anything. Ooh. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I almost sold that. Alright, y'all, I'm back. I'm back. <clears throat> I was gonna say, y'all ain't cute, I'm dead. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, wait, so noise. Do you like onions? Do you like tomatoes? Let me know, because I feel like that'll tell me a lot about you. <laughs> Not necessarily in a bad way. But I feel like people who don't like onions, like what? Or tomatoes? I know a lot of people think it's like a texture thing, which I I guess I understand, but tomatoes, I like, yeah. Onions, I I love some onions. For real, for real. I <laughs> you know how like in Shrek he just like eats the onion? Like that, honestly, I could do that to an onion. Not saying I do do that, but I enjoy onions that much that I would take a bite out of an onion like an apple. Pickles, I uh, fucking hate. I, um, 
I like pickles, but I never like... I'm not like routinely buying like a, a pickle jar just to eat them. Occasionally I do, like the Tabasco flavored ones, you know? Really, really good. But I like pickles. Was it just like it, it has to be like just the vinegar? Because I mean, pickles are just, you know, preserved cucumbers, really. I mean, literally, I said really, literally just preserved cucumbers. The terrain is rocky and inhospitable. Pickled cucumbers. Nothing <laughs> like the smooth tree trunks and sturdy branches the sugar glider is used to. Crags, steep slopes, and sudden gaps in the earth present a treacherous challenge. Whoa. Dang. We have to eat, like, a, all the time. Like, I just fed you, dude, and you're... Ugh. I mean, I guess. You out in the wilderness, you're a wild animal. Exhausting all this energy, but still. Junior stamina acquired. Come on, Mom, I'm ahead of you. I'm supposed to be leading. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just saying, I know you love it. My brother used to eat. No, honestly, noise, I do that. With some salt and pepper, boy? Oof. Tomatoes with some salt and pepper? Yes. I definitely eat them just like an apple. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's so good. <laughs> I like tomatoes, but ew. No, I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are so good. Y'all are crazy. Y'all, y'all the weird ones, not us. <laughs> not us. I'm not really picky. I'll eat anything, really. No, for real. No, he said, no, you, boy. I'm really trying to think of a food I don't really care for. I really can't think of anything. I guess in the, like, people probably think it's uh, weird. Like when I eat kiwis and stuff, like I don't, I don't mind the skin on kiwis. So when I buy kiwis, I just rinse them off and just eat them like fucking apples with the skin on. It doesn't bother me. I call non <laughs> garbage disposal. You know what? Hey, that's fair. That is fair. <laughs> just eat anything okay you out here thinking i'm like gonna eat a damn like cat or something or like i don't know i'm trying to think of something that's like not society like society driven like acceptable I don't know. Well, here's- I like mushrooms. Like, I genuinely, like, love mushrooms. I'll eat them bitches raw. Like, I don't have to saute them or nothing. Just... <laughs> he said, nah, nah, not like that. That's what- oh, that's what Papa calls you, Sam? I'm dead. What? I don't know. I just think there's, like, so much food out there. Like, it's just nice to experience. You know? Up ahead, a scorpion. Oh. This oh, hang on. I'll tell you guys after this. A dangerous weapon. A toxic stinger that could kill the glider with a single jab. And this striking fiend won't let the glider go without a fight. Ooh, gotcha. This Mink. gutsy Joey has a battle on his hands. Oh, is that it? Oh, no, it's still alive. Okay, how many times can I hit it when it's down? Nope. Now it's dead. He's done it. The sugar glider reigns victorious, a testament to his rapidly developing skills. With a newfound confidence, he pushes forward toward the next challenge. For the next challenge. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um. Okay, I actually don't really. Yo, Sean, thank you so much for the five bits. 
Yeah, I just wanted to say, hey, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Much love. Much love. That's why I never tripped on it before. Only, I don't like mushrooms, to be honest. Oh, I, I love mushrooms. This shit kind of lit. It is noise. I've actually played played this before, like a couple couple hours. I didn't get like crazy crazy deep into it, but it's fun. You're welcome. I'm doing well. Thanks to you too. Much love, Sham. Much love. I keep saying Sham. Sham. Sham plays. <laughs> Unless it is Sham, but I think it's just Sham. Back to stream. Hey, thank you so much for that lurk. Thank you. Um. Okay. There is a food I feel like I don't really care for. Lamb. And I've tried lamb twice. I'd be down to try it a third time, you know, because I'll give it another try. But it was like, I'm not going to spend money on getting like lamb chops because one, that's expensive. And also, I'm not going to go to a restaurant and order lamb because if I don't like it, I'm going to be very sad. So I have to like, I don't know, be in a situation where I'm like, hey, can I have like some of your lamb just to see? Because I tried it twice, y'all, and I want to like lamb. I really, really do. But there's, I don't, maybe it was the way the restaurants prepared it for me, but it was two different restaurants. But I just did not. I didn't. I didn't fuck with it. Venison salt. Yeah, I. Um, I've only had like, um, like dried venison, but I've never had it like, like strips, like grilled or nothing. Just dried, which is good. I like it. I've only had it like twice, to be honest. We need to go hunting doors. Gotta go hunting, brother. No, honestly, I kind of do want to, like, get my hunting license. <laughs> swordfish is amazing. Tastes like a damn... Oh, honestly, I've heard about that. I've heard swordfish tasting like that, but... I hear it is, like, it's a little more on the pricey side, too. I mean, I would try it, though. I tried buffalo before. Or bison. Well, it's the same thing. And I think it's how the restaurant prepared it. But I wasn't, like, impressed. I honestly, I was kind of like, I wish I would have just got like a steak instead Super of this. Gliders have powerful it wasn't bad. That can alert them not only to the presence of predators, but to the safest more. paths forward. But instincts are useless if they're ignored. The glider must learn how and when to listen to these inner nudges. Finely honed instincts could mean the difference between life and death. Gator. I enjoyed it, but it was like a very, very long time ago. I want to try bear, but yo, Jinji, thank you so much for the 55 bits. Thank you, Jinji. Thank you, Jinji. Honestly, hang on. I haven't even like checked the, um, so I know I have like the, like for the people who give subs, like the top three. Who's the top three gifters? Oh. Ah, oh, okay, I see, I see. You guys should be able to see that too, right? Or do I have to like set that? No, you guys should be able to see it, because when I watch other people, I have to like just change the tab. I want to try bear, but I'm like scared to like just get it from like just like a regular person. Like no offense, like, but I don't know, because I hear like if you don't prepare it correctly, you can like die. So... And obviously, like, professional cooks can obviously, like, fuck, fuck up, too, and, like, you can get ill from that, too. But I'd rather go to, like, a professional than just some person that, like, hunts just, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? And, like, did it at their home, you know? Unless I, like, know them and, like, trust them enough. Yeah. You trying to eat some that can kill you? I mean, a lot of things that we eat can kill us. <laughs> I'm just that, like, I'm, like I said, I'm very open to try, like, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Said that can kill you? Oops. Oops, wait, what was that? Oh, it was me pressing square. What was it? Oh, circle. Oh, that's me, like, attacking. Meek, meek, meek. Okay. Like, honestly, if... I would try, like, lion. I would try giraffe. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, okay, maybe we should probably run, Mom. Oh, okay. She's dipped on me. Oh! Wait, can I hunt this butterfly? I can! That's crazy. Aw, oh, I want... I want to eat the butterfly! A chilling cry was uttered by a bearded vulture. A massive bird that could crush the sugar glider between its talons like a porcelain doll. The sugar glider's senses are on high alert. Every instinct in his body tingles in the presence of this threat. He moves cautiously, keeping inconspicuous and out of sight. The fuse, where, where is it? Y'all tell me, okay, but like in some countries, like, that's like normal ass food though. Y'all tell me if someone, you, you, like, wouldn't try lying if someone had that shit? That's not you gotta like it, but you wouldn't take a little nibble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you wouldn't eat that sp <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, nah, you an apex predator, bruh. Food chain head ass. <laughs> no bugs, no. Honestly, Kate, I've like I've um ate um like cooked um like crickets and stuff. They're vinegar flavored. They're vinegar flavored. It was actually pretty good. It tasted like vinegar flavored chips. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> I know, I've heard like fried tarantula is pretty good. I'd probably try it. Noise is gonna be like garbage disposal. <laughs> that protein right there, sir. That's some good protein. Oops, oops. Let's try to run. Oh, hang on. Don't leave me, mom. Don't leave me. Bro, what the fuck? I need to dance that again, girl. Wait, where are we going? Oh, shit! Wait, where'd it go? Oh, dang, it's actually really, really close. Dang! Yeah, my mom is dipping. Hang on! The glider was quick. But not quick enough. Oh, dang. His talons close around him like a vice. Dang, it got me, it got me. Life. Maybe that's why you so proud of them. <laughs> I'm dead. Damn it. We apex predators up in here. Oh, wait, here's the butterfly. Oh, no. It's not dead. All right, well, the young brother must stay as close to his mother as he can. At her age, she knows all the best hiding spots. And he the said, inexperienced Thank you. Joey will need all the help he can get. The vulture is a formidable opponent and won't be easily deterred. Oh, I think I fucked up. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> to next month. Oh. Oh, this is like a different path we're going on. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, she's she's in the wind. The vulture is aware of movement on the ground. It could spot the glider at any moment. Our Joey must remain quiet and hidden if he's to survive. Ah. 
it's still like... Go for it! We should be good after this, yeah. She ain't running anymore. Hey, we did it! Oh, that can be a lot of help. Okay, good to know, good to know. Narrowly avoiding the vulture, the sugar glider can breathe a sigh of relief for now. Lizards, a perfect meal for this family of gliders on the go. The joey takes cues from his mother, who uses stealth and speed to stalk these tasty treats. Hide in the grass to get closer to the lizards. A lizard is in the glider's sights. He must tread lightly. These yeah. scaly delicacies are quicker than they look. Honestly, you know what's kind of a scary bug? Praying mantises. They're kind of terrifying. You ever seen that video of a praying mantis? Like gnawing on a like a live lizard? Very scary. Oh, we gotta chase after it? You ain't getting away from me! Okay, actually, maybe it might. It might. Gotcha! He's done it. This wriggling lizard will make a fine meal for his mother and sister. I gotta hold it. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. It is crucial that the family cooperate. Here. There is strength in numbers, but if one of those numbers is weak, the whole family is at risk. And so, mother teaches her offspring to share. You've been attacked by a praying mantis? What? What's the story of the map? Okay, wait, but like, were you like messing with it though? Or were you just minding your business? Because if you were fucking with it, you kind of deserve it. <laughs> you know, don't be fucking with nature. The way he started that we were at the park, me and my fam. And then suddenly I heard something shift in the grass. <laughs> Mother always knows best. Sugar gliders are omnivores, keen to enjoy all sorts of forest delicacies, from insects to invertebrates to small birds and wriggling lizards. The forest is a veritable feast for these intrepid possums. gathered around it just checking it out <laughs> my foot just jumped at me out of nowhere <laughs> oh man i don't have, like i feel like maybe their bites kind of feel like like an ant bite but apparently like ants don't actually bite you they like use their pinchers to like hold the skin and then they use like their stinger on their butt to like on their abdomen to like to like poke you like repeatedly. I don't know if it's like for all ants or just certain ones, but that's just what I've read. Is that a volcano? Cool. I mean, scary, but cool. <laughs> Bullet ants bite and stings. Mmm. I took my shirt off and threw it off with ass. You're probably all screaming and yelling. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I 
Your family was laughing at you, huh? <laughs> A storm it rumbles stays, in the distance. Yikes. The glider How you doing, must soul? move quickly to avoid being caught in its rages. <laughs> oh yeah, they were back. Oh man, that's crazy. Wait, where are we? Where are we going? Mom? Oh, if I get, should I get a running start? Ah! Oh shoot, oh, I'm dead. Oh, they can't swim. Oh, I thought they said sugar gliders can't swim. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get out. Okay. Well. Ooh. Let me eat this. My mom's probably like, gosh dang it, son. Be better. Fuck a bullet ant, I've seen Cody Pearson. Uh, oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah. I did see that. That's actually crazy. Man, I've been better. Well, I hope, uh, I hope you do get better. Can I get back up there? Am I supposed to go this way? Or do I just need to like kill myself and like restart? Yeah, there's like nothing to like climb over here. This is eat it. Oh, that thing fights back. Whoa. Well, oh, eating you, motherfucker. Honestly, I know it's like a unnecessary fear, but I fear wasps, to be quite honest. I've never been like stung before, and I hope I never do. Knock on wood, but they terrify me. They terrify me. No, I said fuck a wasp. Yeah, no, I I'm very scared of them. I try not to be. Like one of them landed on me before, and I just stayed calm. And it just like went away. But boy, when I saw, I was sweating bullets, man. I tell you what. I was I wanted to freak out so bad, but I was like, I mean, freaking out ain't gonna help nothing, but I definitely left that area with a quickness after that. I was like, alright, that's enough outside. Outside time for me. Back into the side of the house. Bro, where the hell am I supposed to go? How do I get back up? Mom! Help! Do I just need to go over there? Can I just go this way? Oh, I guess I can just go this way. Did I make it? Boss Garden didn't know that bad. You know what's crazy? I've asked like a couple people, like, on a scale from 1 to 10, like, how bad does a wasping hurt? And people, it's just a whole variety. Like, some people are like, yeah, it was like a four or three. Some people are like, man, that shit was like a seven, eight for me. I was like, okay, so does it hurt or does it not hurt? Okay. But honestly, I feel like if one got to me, I'd probably definitely cry. To be quite honest. Damn, what's that damn thing? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, well, Mom, how about you come over here? I feel like I'm supposed to be where I need to be. Oh, gosh, I gotta go over to you. She's gonna come right over here, is she not? Mom. Yeah, there she goes. Which way are we going? Oh, we're going this way. All right, all right. Fair enough. A swinging branch attached precariously to a vine. Oh, For boy. most animals, this obstacle would be annoying. impossible to bypass. A fall from this height would be fatal and not worth the risk. But the sugar glider is a masterful acrobat and light on his feet. He may succeed here where others would undoubtedly fail. That's why I like to say not for real. Um, to be honest, fuck bees. I like bees, honestly. I know they're good for like mother nature or whatever, but fuck them still. I had a bee infestation maybe like six, seven years ago, right outside my bedroom window. Mmm. Dang, I got stung like 36 times that summer. That's crazy. Yeah, no, she was just, I mean, at least she waited for me though. She could have just dipped. Like, well, circle of life, son. <laughs> My cat is mean mugging me from the litter box. Damn. Just shitting and just staring into your soul. Dang, that's crazy though. 36 times though is crazy. Like, they probably like, all cause you know, bees die when they sting you. That's wild. Finally, it won't sting you is bulls bullshit. I used to get stuck out of my sleep. It bothered them that you were sleeping so peacefully, noise. And they're like, nah, screw that. Screw that, human. I can make it, I can make it. Whoa, man, that's very terrifying. <laughs> so it's been FBs ever since. Dang, that's crazy. On a scale from one to 10, how bad was the stings? As long as you don't bother me, spider, I won't bother you. But can I eat this? I can't. Cool. Honestly, maybe I should kill that spider for food. Oh, alright, never mind. This giant skeleton once belonged to a whale. The glider has never seen such a thing, and there's no reason he should have. But, sadly, the presence of this decomposed carcass so far inland is no mystery. Seismic changes, likely a tsunami caused by the shift, no doubt deposited this unfortunate creature onto the island. The poor beast perished here, unable to return to its watery home. What remains a mystery is how sugar gliders, these tiny intrepid mammals, have managed to survive the Earth's upheavals, while so many others have failed. Nature really is metal. Nature is. I've seen some like pretty effed up like nature clips too, and I don't know. It just like really like brings me back to reality sometimes. If that makes sense. For real, for real. <clears throat> Can I make it from there? I mean, my mom did, so I should be able to. Okay. Unaware All right, of the we made it. surrounding his existence, the glider explores, taking in the strange sights and smells. By necessity, our glider is active during the day, though they are usually nocturnal. He'll have to use every instinct. Yo, Gigi, thank you so much for that work. I appreciate you. Seven, eight range. Oh, that's so like crazy. Uh. 
I've been stunned before, the whole situation before, and it was on like the beard and flaming still. But those bees, I don't know, man. They had hate behind their stings. <laughs> Crazy. Are you sure? One hundred percent sure there are bees. Like they like, they weren't like smaller wasp. I don't know. I don't know how many like. There was like a lot of wasp out there. Yes. <laughs> Not the bees. Not the bees, bro. It's available to him to survive this strange and hostile landscape. <laughs> Intermediate stamina acquired. Julio. Who's in the way? These bugs? Can I kill these things? Oh, I can. Oh, I launched it. I don't know where it went. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I don't know where the other one went. I feel bad for killing it and not, like, using the resource, but... It is what it is. Yeah, pimp slap them. <laughs> things a lot more simple. I'm trying to get reincarnated as one of these guys? Nah, for real. Clever glider turns a log into a Whoa. vessel. Okay, cool. Innovation goes a long way on this island. Whoa. Dang, that's a big fish. Definitely don't go in the water. It will bobble us up. My, my, my. Oh, they're sinking. A pathway leads to a potential nest. But what hides inside those gently swaying grasses? 